And tell me why Vegeta thought he was the target or something and powered up and only delivered this weak odd uh, kick to the back of his neck. And clearly, it hurt his pride more than anything. So he tried to fire off another weak odd uh, key blast, which also did zero damage. And this took Broly off to the point where he went full power, accomplishing his greatest feat of all time, making Vegeta look like a complete utter bitch. All right, today we have the legendary menace of all menaces. Hell as hell, Broly. Growing up, watching Dragon Ball Z movies, I knew instantly when I first saw Broly, one thing. His backstory might be weak, but his hands are rated E for everyone. I mean, the man was literally a smoke demon throughout the whole movie. Even though his base form looks like he was smoking on that Za 24-7 like Shaggy. I'm not gonna lie, dude. I want to get high, but I have no weed on me, dude. And you know, I'm not me when I'm high. Give me my weed, nigga! Give me my weed! Yeah, after seeing my man Broly look like he was off the Zod 24-7, you can't blame for thinking Broly was high as hell, because we all thought thought it. But further ado, just look how much a menace Broly really is. All right, everything starts when Broly father lands on Earth while Colonel is just jamming and singing his heart out the best he can. You are not alone. Your booty is mine. Take my destructive disc. Basically, Perigus tells Vegeta he wants them to leave the new planet Vegeta of Sands and snatch Vegeta's a friend is up. And at this time, Goku is still just chatting with Chi Chi discussing their personal life. Yeah, Chi Chi, next time you should let me go Super Saiyan while hitting it from the back. Okay, but don't forget the KO kid on the tip. Hey, that's an SJJ9K reference. Anyways, Vegeta and friends land on this so called new planet Vegeta and decide to split up like the Scooby Doo game. So Curl and Trunks are going fly around and encounter the unattractive goblin looking alien Sangies. He thinks are some creatures. For being a Confused by Paragus' arms, they decide to beat up the guards and go confront Paragus until Goku pops out of nowhere because this ain't gonna fly. Sorry, I'm late, guys. I just had to take care of some personal business, if you know what I mean. All right, Chi Chi, here we go. Gah! Me! Ah! Me! Ah! Keep it PG 13. Goku! Later that night, Vegeta and Broly are just walking down the hallways and everything is fine until Broly sees Goku, which triggers Broly's traumatic flashback of something truly despicable. And that's no other than Goku crying all the goddamn time. Yes, his origin story is pretty weak. Then later that night, while Goku and the gang were catching some Zs, we get this odd POV of someone watching them sleeping like some creep. We also get this weird ass shot with Roshi sucking on some pig feet. That old man must have been hungry or having a down bad dream. But then we see Broly charging through the door as if he was a linebacker. Trying to jump on top of Goku. Pause. Then this MF starts throwing hands and key blasts at Goku. And our boy Goku starts bobbing and weaving through these key blasts and deflecting them. So this man Broly starts dashing and Goku trying to give him the good old left. I'm right. I'm left. I'm right. But Goku weaves and hits him in the face. And that man Broly just started leaking and licks the blood off his face. That boy Broly must have low iron or something. But anyway, Paragus comes out of nowhere with his mind control gauntlet and tells Broly to pipe his little ass down until the next day. So this is when things get real. Broly finally had enough and started walking towards Goku screaming his favorite word. Kakarot! And tell me why Vegeta thought he was the target or something and powered up and only delivered this weak odd uh, kick to the back of his neck. And clearly, it hurt his pride more than anything. So he tried to fire off another weak odd uh, key blast, which also did zero damage. And this took Broly off to the point where he went full power, accomplishing his greatest feat of all time, making Vegeta look like a complete utter bitch. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. He had Vegeta on his knees! His knees! The Prince of All Sand! He became the Prince of All L! Well, actually, he's really the Prince of All 2 Sand. But still, he's an L! Meanwhile, as Vegeta was shivering in his boots, Broly was completely dominating everyone. He had all of them running, and when they were cornered, they ran into those odd alien creatures, and then Broly told them, There's no going back to your planet, so say goodbye forever. And blew their planet up! No, not my planet, Lucky Charm! Yeah, this man Broly isn't just a monster. He's a devil. Now, back to the action. Goku saw Broly and tried to challenge him in what it seems like a sewer match. He's a land in me. But Broly simply lifted him up and Die. kicked him away and went straight for Gohan. He dragged Gohan face through a building and then hit him with a key blast. And when Trunks and Goku tried to That's intervene, good. Broly delivered him with a brutal clothesline from hell. Right into a building. He even knocked Goku out of the Super Saiyan form. Look! But Broly wasn't done with Trunks because he slammed him into another building. So Goku went to go try to save Gohan, but Broly hit Goku. Goku faced with a barrage of key blasts, leaving Goku no option but to endure them. Just when Goku thought it was over, another blast him crashing into buildings! 
win. At this point, everyone was down for the count. But then, of course, our boy Piccolo had to spawn out of nowhere, giving everyone a sense of being initiating round two. So Goku and Piccolo begin throwing punches. But Broly effortlessly dodges them as he has Ultra Instinct. So Trunks tried a weak Masenko attack with Gohan. But Broly just shrugged off. But Piccolo attempted to intervene, end up getting beaten up by Broly. <laughs> so Gohan and Trunks were trying to help Piccolo, but we're both closed off the way instantly. And Broly still wasn't done with Piccolo because he unleashed a Ferris kick on Piccolo, followed by a key blast that sent Piccolo ass flying across the map. Yeah, at this point, you can see Broly is him. Cause he's unfazed. He's just beating everybody ass. Anyway, Piccolo grabs Vegeta by the hair and lecture him. You're not a weakling. You're a prince of all sand. Stop acting like a Yamcha and fight. Matter of fact, Yamcha's better than you at this rate. Now, back into the action. Goku attempted his powerful Kamehameha on Broly. Ah! But Broly resisted it without any issue. He grabbed Goku by the head and knocked him out. I can really go for a glizzy right now. And that's when Vegeta had a realization had declared, Yamcha is not better. And then he flew to Broly's, only to do these negative zero damage punch and hit. And this man Broly wasn't putting up with his shenanigans, so he clotheslined that man Vegeta. And yes, Vegeta was down for the count after that one clothesline. Honestly, Toriyama seems to have a thing against Vegeta in this movie for most of the runtime. Vegeta is portrayed in a negative light from being a bitch. And when he finally fights, he gets defeated easily. That's just crazy. But now that everyone is out cold again, this man Broly decided to walk up to his father, crush his own space pod, and throw him into orbit. Yeah, at this point, we call him it. Broly is built different. But of course, this wouldn't be a drag of my movie without Goku getting a random power up through the power of plot. Or in this case, the power of friendship. So basically, everyone gave their energy to Goku, so Goku hit Broly with this fur bomb ah punch. <laughs> And that punch was so devastating, it blew his eye up. What is this power? Ah, I just should not be getting blown out like this. Kakara! Yeah, that punch was so devastating, he blew his eye up. But as y'all can see, Broly is definitely a true devil. <laughs>